Now that I've shown you how to install a free WordPress theme, we need to customize it with your business logo, colors, and fonts. It's a super simple process to customize WordPress theme using the tools I will show you today. I'm Laura from solopreneurmentor.com. I have 15 years experience building an online business from home called D3 Website Solutions. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to customize the free WordPress theme I installed in a previous video. If you haven't watched that video on how to install WordPress, please go back and do that now. You can see the resource listed below. Otherwise, let's tackle your technology trouble together. This tutorial is intended for beginners. You can do it, I promise. For this video tutorial, you will need WordPress hosting, you will need to have installed WordPress and installed a WordPress theme. If you are missing any of these steps, please look below this video for the resources to complete these steps first before proceeding. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to brand this particular theme for your, uh, for your style, for your logo, for your coloring, for your fonts, etc. So this video, um, this video assumes that you have a logo that you've resized it properly, that you've got all your colors and your fonts. Um, if you do want some help on how to resize your logo for Retina, please look below this video for that resource. So we're going to go to themes and then we're going to click on customize. Now keep in mind this particular theme uses the customizer that's built into WordPress to customize the theme. Not all themes do that. If your theme that you've downloaded and installed does not do that, changes are pretty good. It's along the side here that there will be some sort of theme options for your theme. And if you're not sure, make sure you look in your theme documentation to find out where to customize the theme. So if we go to themes and then click on customize, the first issue that we will notice is that the theme has um, kind of deleted some of the adjustments we've made because it overwrote some of them. And so if we go to um, site identity, for example, we can see that the site title is now baseline and the tagline is gone. And I put those in before. So I wanna put those back in. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in blue sky. And the tagline I had before was her name. And then um, now the logo, I'm not gonna put it here because the logo goes somewhere else. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click save and publish. And then I'm gonna go back to the theme settings and I'm gonna go to branding. And I'm going to remove this standard logo and the retina logo and I'm going to upload the ones that I've already created. So I'm going to click select file, select files, and this is the standard one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and click choose file. And then the retina one is the one that was times two. So I'm going to upload files and click select files and do the times two logo and choose file. All right, those two are up there now. Now I also want to do the site description underneath, which is her name, and my accent colors. Um, I actually have a few accent colors, so I'm gonna do a sky blue. And a navy blue. And then I'm going to click save and publish for that. And then I'm going to go back to um, header. And I want, instead of default, I want it to be centered. And I want the background color to be white because my logo background color is white. Um, and then you can see there are a couple of different other options. Background top is actually, if you put in some text here, you can see it goes above up here and then you can choose what the background top color is. Now please keep in mind that this video is not gonna show you all the ins and outs of this particular theme because 
Every theme is so different in how they customize. So the most important thing for you to consider is please pick a theme that has good documentation so you can do what you want with that particular theme. Um, so for now, I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay, that looks good. And then I'm going to go to fonts and I wanna choose a font that I like. Um, so for example, the main body font color could remain open sans. The headings, I want uh, a different one. And any good, um, any good theme will have Google fonts, so you can choose from a bunch of Google fonts. Um, and then maybe for the details, I'll choose her second font, which is Roboto and condensed. And then for the menu font, I think I want Roboto condensed. And I just want it regular. And then they've got all these different text colors. I'm gonna keep all the gray text colors. I like the gray. And click save and publish. And then icons, these are all different icons you can have. So for example, if I, you can see the scroll to top icon as an arrow, you could change that out if you wanted to. Or close the search bar. So if you click on that, this is the, the icon it's talking about. Those all look fine to me. Page structure, um, they're talking about the sidebar width. If you're on a blog page, it will have a sidebar. So that's 35% of the page. I don't really care about that, that's fine with me. Navigation, it's giving me all these different map navigation options. Um, and I can uncheck and check as I want. Um, and then the blog, um, she doesn't actually have a blog, so I'm not gonna be concerning myself with a blog, but you can choose some different blog stuff going on here. And then if you want, how you want your website to respond responsively. Now responsively is something you do want. You do not want to stable it because it is a factor in search engine optimization. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure that that's enabled. Then what it's saying is as you make your website smaller, how is it going to show? Um, and you can see down here I can choose, okay, what is it gonna look like on mobile? Okay, it, it does this little menu thing and I can choose that menu background color. Maybe I want it to be navy. So I'm gonna copy my navy color. And so now when I click on it, you can see it's navy. I like that much better. Um, and then we're gonna click on save and publish. And then we can also see what it looks like in tablet view. That looks good to me as well. And then um, the footer. So if we look down at the footer, I'm gonna look at the regular, we can see the footer is this. We actually want the background color for the footer to be that navy color. And for the border color, I wanna choose the sky blue. And then you can see the border width is one pixel and then padding and all that kind of stuff. That looks pretty good to me, so I'm gonna go ahead change that and then we've got copyright 2017 blue sky christian counseling and that's what's showing up here that looks good to me too now because this is not i did not pay for it you're required to keep the theme by site or origin in there that's just something to think about as well um, we're not using woocommerce so i'm going to uncheck display cart and then um That looks pretty good to me, actually. So we're gonna click Save and Publish. So now that was in a few quick and easy steps, we branded WordPress to use the colors, the logo, the fonts that this particular person uses on their website, and it was just as easy to do as it was um, for, I, I would say, even maybe easier than Wix to do that with. Um, so. Now that we've branded it, we're gonna move on to actually putting in some content um, from the Wix WordPress site, and that will be in the next video. We just tackled your technology trouble together. See, it wasn't that hard. 
Thanks for watching this video and please be sure to check out the additional resources listed below this video and to share this video with others who need technology help too. Make sure you come back and watch the next video in this series, which is how to transfer content. Please visit solopreneurmentor.com for more tips, tricks, and tutorials on how to use technology to make you more productive in building your business from home.